Let's fix this issue of page not found after deployment. All right, so let's get back to the project itself. Inside the public folder, we are going to create one file called redirect without any extension. And inside, bring forward slash asterisk and forward slash index.html and space 200. And that is it. With this one, let's commit because we have made changes to our project and with this one as soon as we push to github it's going to have automatic redeploying so let's do that one quickly and get commits and i will say fixed netlify error and git push origin main all right so let's get into the netlify and let's have a look as you can see it is redeploying it again and let's have a look all right as you can see the progress and for this if you want to have a custom domain you can go ahead and do that one so let me show you if you want to do that click on the project and here we have what is called domain settings and here you can add add a domain and let's say we want to search for inovoshop.com let's see let's verify it and it's already been taken let me add two at the end and it's available and you can register for $12 per year and you'll be good to go. After you pay, it's going to be automatically use the custom domain or the set going to be pretty easy if you want to do that. So let's get back to the application and let's have a look. Well, we have completed, which is this. All right, so I can go ahead and refresh the page. And there you go, it has been fixed. So I can go here and add product and I'll be all set if I click on proceed and proceed and log in and everything remains the same. So guys, here ends this project for Marin's talk and as time goes on, I'll be improving this application by adding a couple of features to it. With that being said, bravo and thanks for your time too.